Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is going to be a video on finding and exploiting an unused API endpoint. A like and subscribe so I can make more videos. Let's get into it. Exploiting an unused API endpoint is like discovering a VIP door at a sold out concert. Everyone's stuck fighting for the front row, but you found the quiet entrance that takes you straight backstage. Where are we? Back on the stage. Jumping right into things here, we have our lab, which is provided by the Web Security Academy over at Portswigger. It's totally free, so check it out. We are at the shop here. We're gonna go ahead and log in. This is just a standard login form. They gave us default credentials. We're gonna use those. Now that we're logged in, let's take a look at this lab at a high level. In this lab, we have to exploit a hidden API endpoint to buy a lightweight leather jacket. We have credentials, required knowledge, how to use error messages to construct a valid request, how HTTP methods are used by RESTful APIs, and how changing the HTTP method can reveal additional functionality. This tells us that we are looking for some error messages, and from there we're going to pivot and change our HTTP method, so verb tampering, to get our end result. And we have to buy this jacket. So chances are we're focusing on trying to manipulate the price or the purchase process. Let's go ahead and take a look at the endpoint. We're logged in. What we'll do is take a look at the store here and we're going to turn on intercept and just go through the process of buying this jacket and look at some of the packets and put them into repeater and see what happens. So let's pull up the leather jacket for starters. The first thing we're gonna do, turn on intercept. We're going to add to cart. And you can see here, we already have uh, a request, um, some activity. So we have a post request right here. We're posting to the cart. Yep, that makes sense. We can see it's doing the ping pong to make sure that things are still alive. Our next request is a get product ID query. That's interesting. Let's see what else we get. We have an, another get request to API products price. So it's referencing a price, probably some internal object on a table somewhere. Okay, well, why don't we try adding this to cart with intercept on? Let's see what we get. So right now we are posting to the cart. Okay, that seems interesting. Why don't we send this over to repeater and see what we get if we just change post to, let's say, po uh, patch. Method not allowed. Okay, so we're making some progress. Let's keep poking. So here we just got product ID again. Let's send this over to repeater. Change this to patch. Method not allowed. Okay. Post. Method not allowed. All right. Let's keep working through them. Our next one is API products price. And of course, just the lab header. So we've already tried the products price one. We didn't have anything there. All right. Nothing out. Okay. So we didn't really see anything helpful. Let's go ahead and jump over to our cart now. So you can see this is our get cart request. That's not going to be anything special. Once we're here, let's try and place our order and see what happens. We place our order and you can see we have a checkout request. Well, this is interesting. This is getting juicy. Let's send this to repeater, jump over here, send this post request. And it just says, see others insufficient funds. Okay, let's back it up in the process a bit here. Whoa, back it up, back it up. Beep. All right, let's do this again from the top. So we click on our leather jacket. We add it to the cart. We know it's posting to the cart. Great, it's, we have product ID number one. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Let's look at the price here because this should be vulnerable. If we take a look, get products, you can see it's gonna return with the price and a message. Okay, let's go ahead and patch this and just see what happens. So look at this, it actually accepted the request. However, it did ask, ask us to change content type and you can see internal server error. So this is good. If we go back and take a look at the API, this is the, the structure. So let's just copy that. Go ahead and we're gonna make our own patch request here using that API and it should send it and modify the internal object or the internal parameter, which is price. So we're gonna change our verb to patch. We're going to add content type application JSON. We'll send this off. And you can see the price parameter must be a valid non-negative integer. 
Let's clean this up until it's not interpreted as a string. We will remove the double quotations. It'll now be interpreted as just a value, a integer. We'll send this off. It says the price is zero. Great, let's go ahead and load this up into our main request over in the proxy tab. So we'll place our payload here if we wanna call it that. We will change the content type to patch. And if everything goes according to plan, we should have our fancy new leather jacket. Intercept is off now that we've sent this. Hopefully it's updated on the back end, but you can see it did not work. Let's refresh. Oh, there we go. We did a refresh, $0. We'll place an order and I think I might've done something else to break it here. Your card is empty. Let's try buying it again. View details, add to cart, view cart, zero dollars we got one place an order there we go we solved the lab that's it like and subscribe so i can make more videos like this